good morning from this happy, happy baby. We are back in action today, getting work done, organizing the apartment, but most importantly, being cute. This is heaven right here. And if you wondered, yes, it is in fact Joffrey's. Good morning, everybody. In the words of Schmidt from New Girl, youths, in the words of the youths, we are riding the struggle bus this morning. Overslept, almost was late to my, my first meetings returning back to work, having a weird time adjusting to the fact that I'm in central time zone and my computer says Eastern time zone, all my meetings are in Eastern time zone. But, back to work. Um, overslept also meant I didn't have time to make coffee before my meetings and I went into like a little mini marathon of like three meetings over three hours, so. It's now 11, uh, just under 11, and I'm making coffee now, and I missed a FaceTime early, early this morning from Christina, and uh, I was like, hey, is everything okay? Because I was like, why is she texting me, at, or calling me at 7.30 in the morning? She's like, oh, no, I just wanted to see if you wanted to stop by and have a cup of joe with me. And I was like, oh, yes, I would have if I woke up from my alarms. I also didn't go on a run, which means I'm gonna go on a nighttime run because we're going to the suburbs tonight. What a day, what a day. Come along, join. Enjoy it with us. Enjoy it with her. We were just chasing each other. Let me chase you. Chase you, chase you, chase you. You don't like this coffee. You don't wanna play? Best part about working from home? Hey, why are you hiding? <laughs> Is to visit this boy. Oh, really? Oh no. We have a roller and we have a... You fell. So far it's the only victim. Okay. I got one. I have to go back to my last meeting of the day, but it was really great to see you in between my day full of meetings. Interesting afternoon, right as the work day was ending and we were supposed to head out to the south side to go visit my parents. Sarah and I thought we smelled natural gas, so we thought I'd play it safe and call the uh, management company and have them sign a tech out. He came in and like, I wasn't sure because this is a furnace, like a broiler furnace system, system for heating. We thought we smelled gas in the hallway, which was away from the washer dryer and away from the stove, which are other the other natural gas appliances. So I was like, let's just be safe We're on the first floor so it's below us. If it's leaking, we would be the first ones to smell it, I think. Um, so we called and the guy came and checked out the dryer checked out stove no leaks there and he's like, i'm gonna go check the basement but he's been gone forever i'm like should we leave like i don't want to leave but i also don't want to stay because we're supposed to go visit my parents and right now like we were able to get out because i work till four o'clock central five o'clock eastern i was like oh we'll beat rush hour out to the suburbs so now we're looking at like we might be in rush hour if we leave soon so fingers crossed ultimately fingers crossed that nothing was going on like a leak I just, we just want to be safe. Hopefully this guy comes back soon. Okie dokie. We're out of the house. We're headed to the Chicago diner. To pick up dinner. To pick up dinner. They're vegetarian and vegan. Um, we showed Been a little- since 1983. Yeah, we showed a little clip of it in yesterday's vlog, but we're gonna get food. I can't wait till we can dine in that place, but they were all like, only one person's allowed in there and they took it seriously. Like really? an Uber Eats person came in behind me and they have it set up so you could, there's literally only space for one person to stand in there. Wow. And the guy was like all confused and I explained it to him. Like, no, it's, it says right there on the door, only one person at a time. So he stepped out. They finished getting my bag ready because it was pretty much ready. And now we're going to eat on the go because that's what we do. That's what we do. We got to go to the suburbs. I had to at the today. 
first day of Flower and Garden Festival. Oh. <laughs> this is a, a really awesome lake view bar called Replay. It was mine and Matt's go-to place in college. We have a really cool outdoor patio and I'm so excited because there's this place over here that I saw a very cool sign for. It's called Lark. Yeah, sure. Drinks and dining. Lark, drinks and dining, happy hour, Thursday and Friday, but guess what? Friday, fish and chips, $16.95, all you can eat beer battered fish, crispy fries, coleslaw, $5 Bud Lights. That's how you know you're in Chicago? That's how you know we're going like now! Listen, because it's rent, and you can, because people here are majority Catholic, you can't really get meat on Mars. And they have a brunch too. And Friday. Sarah, this Friday, we gotta, we gotta figure out what time it is. But how does that work? Like, that means they have to be open for indoor unless it's an old advertisement. I don't know. I need it right now. I'm gonna have 16 pieces of fish. Alrighty. For me, I got a black bean burger. Oh my gosh, look at all those fixins! Um, jalapenos and onions and tomatoes. And it was like a Cajun um, black bean burger. So I'm assuming that's some little sauce. And then I got for my side, there they call it mac and teas so we'll see if it lives up to market on south Ooh. and a pickle that is honestly the thing i'm most excited for peter yours feels heavy what yours feels heavy oh my gosh it's a country fried steak it's huge and it's got all kinds of veggies and then you get gravy on the side and then i also ordered us these little, what are they called? Corn jalapeno fritters. So we each get two of those. <laughs> in Florida how far away everything is like it would always take like 40 minutes to get places but it makes sense like even though traffic can be bad here at the time of night we're traveling and also just like the distance between where our family lives to where we live like north of downtown is actually equal to like our apartment to Epcot in Florida and so we're used to this drive but it just, everything is so much closer together. It's just, I don't know, I don't even know if any of that made sense, but basically we spend a lot less time in the car. Um, we wanna try and capture this sign though, that's been on the highways about COVID and visitors. Jamesy boy is already asleep on his way home. He did so good, he had so much fun visiting his grandma and papa and aunt saw three kitty cats and a dog she's tuckered out well one there's the skyline and then that's the sign we wanted to show coming from a COVID hotspot this is the Chicago travel advisory website should we do that no we already did it yeah that's what that's why we got tested before we came yeah, yeah, yeah. so basically if you come you're supposed to get tested 72 hours before coming to Chicago or quarantine for 10 days yeah there is a game that I love, that most people hate, but I think it's one of the key pieces to why I love living downtown. And it is the art of finding a parking spot late at night. Add the X factor of ice and snow everywhere and that just makes it all the more thrilling. Um, yeah, I just had to drop Sarah and James off because it was looking bleak. It is almost 10, but guess what? I found one not far away. So, um, it's always a win when you're within a five minute walk of your apartment. Take that into consideration. Oh, it's late. But, I haven't been by here yet. So I had to. 
lake front was too dark and spooky for me to run it. So I thought, you know what, I'll come by the field, the friendly confines. I figure if they have in-person games this season, we'll be we'll be hitting up a few of these. If not, hit up some of these bars and restaurants. All right, I gotta keep going, but isn't she a beauty? Side note, this winter, 2020, 2021, this over here is where they have the second Chris Kindle market, or third Chris Kindle market. And if it comes back, trust me, most nights between the Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve, will be spent at this Chris Kindle market or the Daily Plaza. And yes, I couldn't find my gloves. So I'm wearing socks again. But I'm getting up. This is all new. Oh. Well, this is our new hotel. Hotel Zachary. I don't know. I don't know seen that. Big Star, they got good tacos. I didn't know they moved over here. Alright. That's enough of this. I gotta go. Alright. I got my turnaround point. Ended up over here at Webster and Halstead. Lincoln Park, baby. If I didn't go around Wrigley, I would have brought you closer, further down. Halstead is some really cool shops, neighborhoods, a cool Apple store. I believe right here is Oz Park, a super cool park we'll go to someday during the day. Bring James the statues of all the characters from Oz, Wizard of Oz. I also am kind of bummed because I wanted to show you the front of a really cool restaurant. I'm not sure if it's so open if they're renovating it, but if you're a fan of the Netflix series Chef's Table, season one, I think it was season one. One of at, at, at one point it was one of the it was the world's number one restaurant called Alinea. I'd love to go there one day. We will go there one day if it's still open. But it's on Halstead, a little further south. But beautiful Lincoln Park neighborhood, DePaul University. It's just beautiful. And it's a little warmer today. It's like 38, which those like eight degrees make a world's difference. But time to make the trip home. It's getting late. It's like 1130. I'm trying to get home before midnight. It feels really good to be running in these streets. Now we just need another early morning lake. That's what I need. I got so sleepy. Oh my goodness. Our apartment has radiator heat and it has been really nice and toasty in here, but I honestly, like, I feel like just like lulls me to sleep. But I am powering through. I have had laundry to fold. And so I'm going to do it. I've been, I've been staring at this basket I just have to do it. So I'm going to do that and then show you guys a little update on the rooms around the apartment. Um, again, day by day, things are getting a little bit more in place. So I'm not sure we showed this, but the hallway's clear. This has become our little storage of all, all the different things that need to find homes, mostly art and books. Evie has just been hanging out in the kitchen so much. I think she likes the tile, but it makes me sad because I just want her to be in the living room, but she must be happy over here, right? Maybe it reminds her of our last apartment but I selfishly want her to be in the living room with us and it makes me sad that she's just been over here. She's very tired. <laughs> but if you have any advice on this little transition, please put it in the comments below. I just want her by us. So this is how we have the bedroom set up. The bed is on an angle. This makes the two side tables fit. I think it'll feel more complete once the curtains are up and once we hang some stuff in here. But really the, the space functions really well over here. Um, again, still organizing stuff, but Evie's bed 
fits. She's got plenty of room. Um, and then this dresser is here. Again, like it's functional. Um, things are starting to feel in its place, but this is kind of like a, a mid making things homey tour. I'm so ready for everything to feel more like set and for me to just be like in our normal groove of things. But I think we're doing a really good job at, you know, taking our time, staying sane. We decided we are going to bed before midnight tonight, so that's really important. Um, but yeah, once, once these spaces are totally done, we'll do like a finished apartment tour. There's a couple of things we still need to buy, like another shelf, um, and maybe even some new chairs for our dining room table, but like definitely once we have things up on the walls, we'll do like a formal apartment tour. Here is our little kitchen. Some things still need to find a place, but otherwise yesterday we really kicked butt in here. This is going to eventually be like a small little office space. Um, getting there. Gotta love some good Lake Michigan tap water. I brought this for you. What happened over here? He started to put his pajamas on and we just needed to take a break. Oh gosh. I don't know if we told the vlog our couch debacle. So basically, this part of the couch was supposed to go on this wall. And that part of the couch was supposed to go on this wall. And we're having a really hard time. <laughs> At least I am. Oh so my. Getting. We, we double, triple, quadruple, like thought we'd check this. We asked them for measurements. We had family come check it out. It's hard because like, we don't know until it's here, kind of. Right. It should fit, but the baseboards on each side basically. Along with the window frame here. Right. The frame poked out. And so because the snuggler, like, isn't just like a normal couch. So we're trying to deal with the fact that it's not as we envisioned. I think I'll feel better once everything is put away because that area has kind of also become a little storagey. Um, but it's still not okay. No. Oh gosh, is someone ready for bed? All right, March 3rd. Henry Matisse. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Oh, ain't that the truth? This is the two coolest people from the Broker Project here to say that it's good to be home. Good night. It's good to be home. Just kidding, we're all here. <laughs> um, shout out to Peter's mom for getting me Green River. Yeah, while we on our visit. <laughs> well, in actuality, I think it just happened that they had Green River and then she made sure they went up fruit. Oh, they're nice and comfy. Oh, oh nice bedtime. That's my sleeping spot. All right, from all the Brookhart, all the coolest ones, <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.